and this is a project they did a couple years ago. So I'm going to show you they them on my porch this morning. Did a little photo shoot on the front porch. These are some red, white, and blue log cabin remix pillows. And I know you guys are like, what, Johnny, log cabin, <laughs> what? It barely goes together. I know. Who would have thought? But I just think these are so fun and so they are fast and easy. Then I think they're super cute too. So we're going to show you a log. Uh, we're calling it, what are we calling it? Should we call it? log cabin remix i don't know so we're gonna call it log cabin remix so this is a basic log cabin block now if you haven't made one still even yet it's still time <laughs> there's still time to learn the art of the log cabin and i'm going to show you i did bring these here i'm going to show you how i like to make a log cabin because that's just what I do. I like them. So hold on. Let's get rid of that. Let's get bring this back. Okay. So I have, I brought my main sample here. Just a regular log cabin block. And I'm going to break it down. This one starts with a five inch. Oh yeah. You're going to bring that down of course. Maybe it would be better not to have the box or something. I don't know. What do you think? Just bring it down. Okay. Bring it. We're going to bring it down. There, you go. Oh, there, right there we go. Okay. So I have, I started with my um, five inch square, which is right here. And I just, this is as if I had a charm pack of, you know, if you had charm packs, extra squares from your charm pack, or you could just cut some five inch squares. I was just going through our scraps and I found this adorable Kimberbell fabric. Oh, so good. I love the reds in these, such a good red. So I just cut some five inch squares, right? Then I added just a white strip. Now, one tip, if you want to keep, let's do, let's just go back to here really quick. So notice how this is kind of centered, but not really, it's not exactly centered. If you want to keep your red square centered, you want to use the same size strip all the way around doing your log cabin. So if for like for if I was going to do this, every one I'm doing is two inches. So they end up one and a half inches. That makes sense. Yep. So that way your red square stays centered. That's not really my jam. I'm not sure. You know, I like things wonky. I like things offset, off centered. So me personally i'm just gonna do every width of strip i couldn't think of basically <laughs> so or that i happen to have in my hair my thing so i'm going to show you how i usually start out so like i said my five inch square is the center and then i just went through i found some scraps this one is some blue that's cute i don't know what width that is i found this one i have I found some, uh, just a solid blue. I don't know what, it, if it's not really solid, it's, it's kind of a grunge, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then I should have got a shorter ruler, but so if I have this fabric here, I'm just going to kind of trim that up. Thank you. So let's do a strip at, I'll do a strip at, you know, like one and a half. I'll do a strip at two. Oops. And then that one's still kind of wide. So I'm going to just going to trim that down to another one at two, I think. What do you think? Perfect. Do you like that? Yep. The more I do these, I kind of like the smaller strips better just because I like the visual interest of it yeah. personally. So like, I'm just going to show like one quadrant of this, right? So Notice I have the square there. And then as I go out, I just like the way those different widths look personally. I like the visual interest it gives. If that's not really your style, you know, you do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard that? You do you, boo. Okay, this one right here. 
Oh, this one was fun, how I did this one. I'm going to show you how I do all these in a minute. So notice how we have like just varying widths. I'm staying with basic like cool navies, like solid, like navy navies. And what would you call this kind of red? Like patriotic red? Yeah, I don't know. A bright red? A bright red? I don't know. I had one that was not the cutest. And I was like, no, that's, we're not doing that one. So, again, this is kind of you can do what you choose, but I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So, where's back my, okay. So, I did, oops. Okay. So, I did my red, my red square. I added a white. And then you just kind of keep going in a circle. So, that's kind of how a traditional log cabin is made. Is you start with the center, and red is usually the center traditionally. So, I start with the center square. And then I just build, add a row. Wait, wait, wait. Red is traditionally the center of every log cabin or just of this Traditionally, one? red is the center of a log cabin. Do you know I why? I do not know why. Because red is the heart of the home. Oh, that's the heart cool. of the home. I had not heard that before. Yeah, that's a thing. At least that's what I... So I just keep going in a circle. Now, when I get to this point, I know that I need to add a strip here because I have opening, like I have two strips that come down. So I like to think of it like a Pac-Man. Like a Pac-Man? <laughs> well, yeah, because then that way I always know that I'm adding on the right. Oops, sorry. I'm adding on the right. Um, so these ones are open. So, yeah, you know, so I have two here. Everywhere else is just one off the side, right? Yeah. Like this side, there's, this side is solid, so it's not on that side. This side is, there's an opening. Does that make sense? It does. So, so like, so like a C. Would be like, waka, 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 waka. Oh, no, like, this is the Pac-Man. No, this is the Pac-Man, silly so goose. Oh, okay. oh, my goodness. I'm going to look at their comments to see, make sure we didn't miss any comments. Uh, sorry, hold on, hold on. Oh, people sent me some things. Apple red, fireworks red, like that. Traditionally, it is the heart and hearth. Thank you. I've never made one, so I'll have to go on it. After I finish spring showers, two scoops. <laughs> Just spring showers and two yeah. scoops. <laughs> no and deal. cup of cheer. Okay. All right. I'm just checking my things. After my years of... Janine has never sewed a Janine. cabin. Isn't Janine's birthday? Is that the Janine? It's your birthday? Questioning all my life choices I know, right now, and I and I am no help because remember the phone thing. Yeah, I've kind of been okay. Silly friends. question, but do you add clockwise or does it matter? No, I was thinking the same. It thing. doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't matter because you can. It is a birthday. Happy birthday! Sorry, I lost my mind for just a moment. It doesn't matter because as long as you go well, if you're doing if you're doing. Um, if you're doing a whole quilt of all log cabins and you want to do them all matching, so yes, you want to do them all the same. But as far as this, like it doesn't really matter because you're going to go get the same look either way. So you can go, I have many times gotten lost in my <laughs> I thought no, we were talking quilting. about quilting. <laughs> oh, but I'm bummed. <laughs> Sherry. Um, that was funny. I did just push her too, but you guys didn't see that. Sorry. No, so it doesn't really matter. I can go, if I go this way, I'm just going to keep going. You just want to keep going the same way. There is another version of um, Log Cabin that's called Courthouse Steps. So Courthouse Steps, um, how do I best describe and show this? Okay, I'm just going to show you on one of these. So Courthouse Steps, you start with your center, and then you'd add a strip here. And then you'd add a strip here. So you just basically go up opposite ends. And then you'd add a strip this way. Do you see what I'm saying? So it gives it just a little bit different look. Yeah, it's a little bit different. So then you add that one. And then I would add... I didn't cut enough strips to do this visualization very well, but... And you could do these like kind of wonky, but then you'd go that way. Can you see that? Not that one. Not that one. 
Oh, sorry. Um, oops. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, okay, so can you see that? That would be courthouse steps. Courthouse steps. So that's that's how you would do that one. But the Ferrar version, where did it go? <laughs> We've been lost before. <laughs> okay. So for our version, we have this one here, right? So I'm just going to add another strip along this side. So, hey, Lara. Good. <laughs> Lara just came in. I just told I just told the studio audience that you came in. Okay, I'm gonna go sew this really quick. She's gonna go sew that. Our machine's not super close. I apologize. No, he's just wheeling away over there. Oh, I was gonna grab Stacy. Stacy has something to tell us, but she just right walked now. away. <laughs> Where'd she go, Stacy? Do you want to come tell them about Embroidery Club? She's going to tell us about the Embroidery Club that's in store. And that is going to be, so those of you that are doing the Premier Club, um, that, remember the oh, designs come out on the first. Yeah, the, about Embroidery Club. Do you want to tell them about Embroidery Club on I'm like, the 5th? Which, We're going to take a little. Do you want me to <laughs> make <laughs> the 5th? There's my <laughs> just this just one. one. Okay, embroidery club for those who are close to the Sandy location. Um, I'm going to show you those cute pouches. I'm like, oh, they the fish pouch. I love this one. Now that would have been great if I had little kids, so I could put their little goldfish crackers. Look at that quilting. Wait, what is that project? This That's is the, the pet pouches. This is the Kimberbell. Digital dealer exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. DDE, digital dealer it's exclusive. It's so cute. Isn't that cute? And I love this. And you put, you know, the you little poop bags. What are they called? They're called poop bags. <laughs> That's literally what they call them. I, was I mean, you could some. put Scooby Snacks. <gasps> oh, oh, Scooby love Snacks. Scooby Snacks. Buster and Winwin would love those. And Chris and Lisa, I think, are going to be demoing it on Facebook Live. And so you can watch them at nine. And then if you come into the Sandy store, I'll kind of quickly go over it. I have a slideshow type presentation just to go over individual, like step by step. And then if you have questions, you can ask me those questions. But if you come into the Sandy store, we have decided that we are going to start giving away our dealer exclusives, not the digital dealer, but dealer exclusives, exclusives from the past. I think there's like four volumes. Oh. So, but you have, but to, you come have in. to come in the store and to sign up, you're going to call the store or come into the store and it is $5, but, but and, but you guys say, but I say, and, and <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> it's, but you get that $5 back in a gift card. So, and, basic, and you get uh, well, this month I picked an older one. It came from volume two because I know we haven't given this one this one away yet. It was so Ever? cute. Not here in this store. In the in the Logan store, they probably have done this one. But not in Sandy. But not in Sandy. So ready? This is it. It's the tandem bike. Look at those cute birds. <laughs> that is so cute. Isn't that cute? So that's the one we're going to be doing so for cute. this month in July. And then I kind of, if you come into the store, I'm kind of going to ask, like, what are some of the ones that you guys really want? Mm. What are the ones you're looking for? Because I'm going to pick them for the next, through the end of the year, starting after Embroidery Club on Tuesday. So I know that there's some that people are, like, waiting for, like the Tooth Fairy Pillow. Maybe. Isn't the, aren't the flamingos? The flamingos mm, is another popular cute. one. But there are some really cute ones from the first two volumes that I know we haven't given away at this store. So I can't read any of the comments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, old lady, 
<laughs> in the comments. <laughs> well, if you ever come visit us, you might want to plan to visit on the first, first Tuesday. Tuesday. And we're doing it at 11 o'clock here at the shop. And isn't there, don't they get a discount too? They get a discount. Yeah. On, a, on, yes. a, on the Kimberbell Embroidery. Is it just Kimberbell? Mm -hmm. Just Kimberbell. Just Kimberbell Embroidery. Discount on Kimberbell Dis Embroidery. Oh, stuff and. Down Thank you. And we are going to give away a gift card. Oh, we forgot. They have to bring it. Bring in um, two. One or two. You don't have to bring two. Do you have any show and tell? Show and share. Oh, bring in show and share. Bring in Excellent. Some show and share. So we, I, we used to do this um, before the pandemic, and it was so fun to see what you guys had made. Uh, Especially over this pandemic, you guys have probably made a whole bunch of <laughs> projects, right? Yes. So. Um, there's something somebody just said. Oh. I don't think that I can validate a flight. <laughs> I sure wish I could, though. <laughs> well, you know, we'd love to see you. All right. All right. So, yeah, if you're local, call, sign up. It's $5. You'll get it back in a gift card and it's a discount. At 11. It's at 11. It's okay. At 11. So, first Tuesday of the month, 11 a.m. The here same in the day you store. would see it on Facebook. We pushed it to 11, so that gives you time to get in your car and drive this way after you watch Chris and Lisa this this month. Oh, okay. But, and then I'm going to also show you that bonus one, the Santa sack. And people have been commenting, like, what they'd like to see. So you have to go back and look at that. Okay. Like here, like the dealer exclusive? Yeah, like flamingos, reindeer, okay. bike one. Okay. But and then if you do come in on Tuesday, you can put in your input. I just, all right. I have them also. I don't I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want. I she love says them they call it so and show. So and show. That's cute. So and show. Okay. Yeah. So all right. show. We're going to do so and show. <laughs> oh, that's okay. too many S's for me. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Thank then, you. Thank you. Were we talking about that after? Yeah. That was a little commercial break for <laughs> for so time. <laughs> for so time. Okay, so now again, this is how this is Johnny's version of a. So I sewed this strip on. Then I just want to trim that that strip. Oops, sorry. So I line up my ruler. Ooh, can you see it? Barely. Can they see what I'm doing? Yep. Then I'm going to press this. So I'm just going to press that really quick. I got my iron on. <laughs> and I always, when I'm doing something like this, people always wonder about like, which direction do you press? I always press the same, just press outward. Press outwards. Press outward. So press to the outside. So it's not necessarily like the dark side. I don't know what is wrong with this iron. Do these irons shut off or something? Yep, they sure do. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so I've um, attempted to press to the outside. And then, oh my gosh, it's raining so hard. So I've just added a blue around that one. And this is kind of a different one. Yep, you can tell that. And then I'm just going to do another one. So I look to see where my, where my Pac-Man is, right? Where my open <laughs> spot is. So now it's over on this side, right? I still like my Pac-Man. I liked it. It was great. It was totally perfect. <laughs> and now I think, let's see, let's look at this down here. So I, and I also try to like think of every block as its own little piece of work of art. I know that might be silly, but I want each block to be its own individualized artwork. So I found this little star one. What do you think? Do you like that? That's kind of like cute, that. right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, now you can either measure and cut if you want. I don't do that kind of thing. I just sew and cut. You're going to put just right sides together. I'm going to put right sides together. I'm going to go sew it together though. Okay. So they can see. Will you talk to them for two seconds? Yeah. I'm going to talk to club members for a second. Oh, club members. Club members at 430 in the club Facebook page, we have an announcement too. Um, Stacy's here to, to do that. So if you're a member of the club, join us at 430 on the club page. And another announcement for those, for everyone is today, today, this very day is the last day to sign up for tug at the discounted rate. So 
starting July 1st, that rate will go up. And we have a few spots open, so we would love for you to join us. Um, it is going to be so much fun. And we are getting excited. We're getting some of the details finalized, some of those things taken care of. And so if you're on the fence, now is the time. Now is the time to take that leap off that fence. Okay. Are you going to show how to use the log cabin trim tool too? Yes, I am. I'll show you right now. Um, thank you for asking though. Okay, so I sewed my strip on. And I'm gonna press outwards. I'm gonna show that, that uh, trim tool just a second. Did you see that new video that for the tug? I did see that. We're going to show it in a minute. Are we? Yeah. Cool. When we finish this, we're going to show it there. Okay. So let's show how to use that trim tool too. So this is the log cabin trim tool too. It has a bunch of different settings, but I like settings. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> settings. <laughs> This is like the weirdest spot to do this. Yeah. Not. I apologize. This thing right here. Yeah, can let's I just take, take that, that off apart? for a minute. These are really cool mats and they work really well. And getting a little bit in my way. So this this part right here. Oh man. I see a light. Let's hold it up. Okay. Maybe. It's like. So right there, see how it says six inch log cabin trim tool. And then right here it says 12 inch log cabin centering. Oh, courthouse steps. We just talked about that. And then they have different versions here. So right there. So we have log cabin, courthouse steps, and half log cabin. So this is like, I, that was always trying to show right there. Oh, where are you? the half log cabin. All right, sorry. There's the half log cabin. There's the courthouse steps. That's why I was attempting to illustrate earlier. And then there's a log cabin, a traditional log cabin. So see how you have your center? And then it just kind of radiates out. And that one's like two color one. I just do them kind of random scrappy because that's, you know, how I work. So, um, but if I wanted to, when I got to the, like to 12 inches, I can line up, hold on, I'm gonna show you how you do it. This way. So, they can, you can see that. So I'm lining up these lines in here with what's on the outside. So I'm using those interior lines. Are you, oh, is that helping? Oh, that does help, thank you. That's Sherry, she's so good. <laughs> So I'm lining up these interior lines with my inside square. Then I can trim off the excess. I'm gonna trim off the excess. Oops. Oh, goodness. So it just helps to keep everything kind of even as you go around. I will usually trim um, every round I go. So I'll usually do, I'll usually do, so like I'll start with the center and then I'll do four sides and then I'll trim that and then I'll do four more around another round. So four more sides and then I'll trim again. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what's so the ruler called? The ruler is called log cabin trim tool two. And we did put that on sale for you. That, that's giving a little hint at what number three is. So then I have this one. Let's see. So then I have an opening here, right? So that's my where my two come together and I do another one there. So which color would you do next, Sherry? If you were the boss of this quilt? Probably a light. A light? Yeah, because we've got what blues, about... we've got... Just the one white so far. What about a cute red polka Ooh, dot? Yeah. Mm. 
So, again, my trimming ruler. I'm just going to do this at two inches. That's like basically cut you in half, right? So then I'm going to do that together, right sides together, sew along that line. I'll be right back. <laughs> be right back. Whoa. While he's gone, someone asked about my shirt, the busy quilting shirt. It was one that we had, I think it was just last year, and I don't know if we have any in stock at either of the stores or in the warehouse. So, but it's one that we offered. It is cute. I love it. I love the yellow. I'm trying to think. I don't. I just I looked at the warehouse shirts not too long ago, and I don't remember seeing it. And there's I know there's actually I'm looking around. And there's not one here. So. Okay. It's such a cute shirt. So I lay that face down. I just trim along this straight line. Somebody last time, some one time said they thought it was like paper piecing. Is that, have you ever heard maybe um, that? Kind of, but it, you don't have the paper. Right. And so. I just, this is how I kind of taught myself, I guess, or I saw someone else. I don't remember. I've been making blocks like this for a long time. And again, I really like the process of making blocks. I just think it's relaxing. Yeah. In this way, there's not a lot of... It's not stressful yeah. to me. You don't have points you're matching up. Or... Exactly. The more things I can do that don't line up a point, the better. <laughs> I know that's terrible <laughs> quilting advice, but it's Johnny B quilting advice. So now I added that um, red strip. No, the white strip on the bottom, right? So now... On this opposite end, I need a fill of color here. What color would you do next? Mm. Another light or red? I probably would go red on that red. side. Red. I want to use that more of that cute Kimberbell. Kimberbell. Oh, that's a cute that's one. That's a cute Let's one. Let's do that one. So I found this little strip. Um, this might surprise you, but... <laughs> I forgot to grab my box of scraps at home <laughs> to make this project to work on it here, you know. So I was just grabbing scraps from the store scrap bin. And they're a little light on the red, white, and blue. So Especially after today. <laughs> especially after today. Luckily, I found some cute Kimberbells. So we're going to do this one. This one. We need a name for a star that loses all its points. So I don't know. <laughs> and Johnny B. <laughs> the Johnny B star. Loses its points. <laughs> but I'm not losing my shine. Not doling that. Hold on. <laughs> no, not yet. Christy says sh that nothing surprises her anymore with Johnny B. About Johnny B. Well, good. Just trying to decide what we have on the TV in the background. It could be like it's the um, you know me M seventeen. Ooh, I was thinking maybe it was like two three at threes you were watching, and it'd be kind of like a time warp something. What size are the Kimberbell pillow planks? Eighteen or twenty? Eighteen or eighteen, right? Okay, so somebody asked what size. So I would go to I would make them eighteen and a half. And then when you trim them, they'll be 18, right? <laughs> Amy Jo says, wouldn't the star be a circle if it lost its points? <laughs> That's funny. I'm shocked you forgot something, Johnny. Oh, my gosh. Gail. <laughs> I thought, like, Christy gave me those kind of comments. It's like they know you. <laughs> it's like you know me. And this time, I just, I just pressed... I just pressed, but I left these little things. Amy Jo says she's watching from her hammock. I bet everyone in Sandy is not watching from their hammock. You guys, it is raining so <laughs> hard here right now. It is really coming down. 
but we need it so bad. We're grateful, grateful, grateful. Did you, did you have rain up at Bear Lake? Just a couple of little sprinkles. We had some wind though. Okay, I'm gonna show this. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> April, thanks for watching. <laughs> And your package is ready. And your package is ready. <laughs> we should just read off all the names. <laughs> okay, we're just going to read off all the green bag names instead of calling. So see here, I have lined up my center here. And then I'm just going to trim off what's left on the outside there. That wasn't a very good one. Oh, or it was I, a think perfect it's a good, one. I think it's a good one to show, though, yeah. what it does. Like you just line it up. Yeah. So I just line up here, here, and then it's a new um, it's the new sound effect. The new the, sound effect for, for the, the for log cutting. <laughs> all right, you get the idea. When you get to when you get all the way out, when you get to the site, I would do 19 inches actually, right? I, 19 I, if you're cutting them in half, and then trimming outside, right? Yeah. The border yeah. backing, and these and these I didn't even quilt them like because we're doing fast and easy, right? So if you wanted to quilt them later, maybe. I There's a lot you could do. You could do clear blue tiles with them. Clear blue tiles. The, the cute star. On your machine. Thing. You could just do stitch and stitch on your machine. Yep. I just I just made them into a pillow, that burrito, the pillow, what's it not called? Burrito. Envelope, envelope method, <laughs> not burrito method. Yeah. I just did them quickly envelope style just to get them on the quilt, get them on the uh, front porch as so fast once, as possible. Yeah, so once it's all done, because this doesn't look like a log cabin. Then what do you do? Right. What do you mean? So once your log cabin. Oh, once all we're done. all done. Oh yeah. Sorry. That was, we're going to show that. <laughs> so I get done with my square and then I just cut them in. Sorry. Thank you. Then I just cut them in fourths. So like I said, if you want to keep these all, if you want to keep it, um, even and your center square in the middle, you would do all these same sizes, but if not, it's going to make an offset. So I'm just going to cut this one as if it was a, should I do that? Ooh, yeah. I'm just going to do it. So this one is not quite a square, but I'm just going to show you how you could do it, play with it later on. So I'm going to do in half this way and in half this way. Not quite in half, but we're just eyeballing here. So then, even just to mix them up, oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> that seam in the... So to remix them, I can even just do this much and sew them back together. And look how cute that looks like if it was just that much, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't tell that was once a log cabin. Or you can do them this way. So like the bottom red all in the same direction. And you can mix them up, you know, however. Like this kind of, that's kind of cute when the red's always in that bottom corridor. Or just put them back together, like I said, you know, somehow. You have to mix them a little bit. Don't just put them straight yeah, back together. Don't put them straight back together. <laughs> but you could. I don't know. Just kidding. So anyway, then I, so one I did was the one that was the pillow covering. So I'll show these again. Kind yeah. of like a disappearing nine patch only log cabin. Yes. yes. I love these red, white, and blue colors too. And we don't have a pattern, but we have some, we're going to write something up that we'll put on the page in the club. We'll finish writing it up. So that's just without cutting it up. This one is cutting up and remixing like I just did. So the same four things you can see, like the same four colors, you know, they're all there. And then this one, I did they the same thing. They all back to the middle. Just right. back to the middle. And then this one, I did the four corners in the red in the four corners, but you kind of can't see it because I did, this one was the biggest, but you can see down here, there's a little bit down, sorry, down here, there's a little tiny bit of red. So, 
I think mostly I'm just encouraging play. I'm encouraging exploring, experimentation. Yeah, just have fun. Um, also, we we're thinking, what we we're saying, like, if you had, well, Cindy mentioned, like, if you had kids kids around for the weekend or something, it's something that that you could have young people help you with too. Yeah. So even if it's just handing you the strips, like here, grandma, yeah, that's my favorite. Do this color, or yeah, like say because here. They're so free. Yeah, kids love to just play with stuff and yeah. just say, like I also like to, um, like I was going to use the back side of this one, like turning fabric inside yeah, out to you see. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Did you know that? That's not an accident. Nope. I just like to be able to uh, play a little bit and say, oh, maybe I just wanted, maybe I wanted that faded blue jean looking blue. All right. Thank you, everyone.